Gillespie got away with it. Top of the key, Nuremberg forces up the three. Off the glass, it's good! 12 seconds left, a one-point game, and a near turnover. The ball, Castillo, Stinsley, They won. In the games we lost, I lost. Uh, so, you know, uh, my kids' mistakes are mine. You want to have your own parking space? You won three steak. <laughs> Coach Mike Williams from Beecher High School. Became the head coach in 2004, 2005. I love for the game of basketball and, and help kids pursue uh, their education you know, and, and my competitiveness. Monte has, has been more than a, a basketball player. Monte is more like a son to me. I've known him since he was a little boy. I could tell that at a very young age that he would be an outstanding basketball player. But he, he had goals at a very young age, and we talked about it. And that's what makes him probably more different, and I'm not going to say special, but different than any other player that I coached because he was here with me from the beginning. And he watched me build the program. I watched him grow at the same time. So in the essence, we kind of built this program together. He came to beat you. One of our goals was to go to the Rams um, all four years. Uh, another goal was to win multiple state champions. Those were the goals that we set, and we set it at a high bar. And at any time, we know that, you know, sometimes you don't meet all your goals. But there was not any point that we stopped believing in what we were doing. There was not a point that we didn't have any confidence that we could get it done. We just did everything that we needed to do. And when we talk about that, we talk about all of those things. Developing good habits, um, developing um, good decision-making skills critically thinking and, and working as a team. It's, it's more about the kids for me. You know, it's, it's, it, you know the, the trophies and, and the, the winning is a byproduct of the, the work that we put in with the kids. And um, those kids, my kids, my players, they won those, those trophies. Um, I was there to guide them, but they won. Any games we lost, I lost. Um, so, my kids' mistakes are mine. Their, their accomplishments and their successes are theirs. And um, that's the way we like to run our program. We want to stay humble and modest. And that's the way you stay humble. Simply, my motivation it, it, it are my players. Um, you know, and that, this is what I do it for. Uh, I'm not only a competitor, but I'm an educator. My motivation is helping my, my players, my student athletes reach the next level of not just basketball, but of life. And that's what motivates me. That's what keeps me going. And, and, and it also, it doesn't hurt when you get uh, the negative talk from the naysayers. That always uh, puts a little more fire under your belt when uh, it, it's time to play. You know, you have to bring an edge to you anytime you get out here in this world because it's always going to be competition. And as hard as we've been working, as people been working since last year, don't nobody owe you nothing. Anything you want, you better go out and get it on your own. You can't ask nobody to give you nothing. Only thing that you can do is prepare for your opportunities. You're going to earn it. 
That's the only way you deserve stuff. That's the only way you get it. And that's the only way you appreciate it. Now we gotta finish the journey. We can't take nothing for granted from that heartbreak that we took last year. So every day in practice, we went hard and we, we didn't goof around. So I just wanted to lead my team, you know, 